Hello friends, myself Bakul Valambia. Today I would like to talk about the relevance of spirituality in our life. Now, when we look at the you know present development across the world for last few centuries, constantly we are moving towards the materialistic pleasure day by day we are developing new gadgets for our facility and subjective pleasure it could be in the form of machine it could be in the form of you know household accessory it could be in the form of clothes it could be in the form of house etc etc so what i am saying is that day by day the human being is more and more becoming materialistic and engage oneself into the materialistic pleasure now due to this materialistic pleasure and constant desire to get it more and more what happens is you know dissatisfaction arises out of the unavailability of such facility of such so gradually what happens is this sort of you know dissatisfaction create unrest mental unrest in each of us and due to that we become prey to the frustration and depression and so many other elements particularly the mental elements which gradually manifest into the physical problems also so in this case to improve the situation one thing is very essential in life and that is spirituality because due to the formal education in our life we all have certain goals and we have certain you know ambitions to achieve something materialistic in life each and every one thinks that uh, for example i am an engineer and i should earn this much and i should have this sort of lifestyle then the doctor will uh, say Uh, i am an mbbs and uh, i should have so and so income monthly and i should have this kind of lifestyle and i should have this much facility in my life etc now what happens is each and every person in this world has its own parameter of accomplishment and uh, he or she wants something in return in the form of materialistic pleasure subjective pleasure so due to this reason you know constant uh, some dis- dissatisfaction arises out of one's own mind and it creates problem to them now when you enter into the spiritual life now you come to understand that you are not a limited human body you are beyond that so uh once you realize that the body what you have is like a cloth which you have worn for so many years and one day you would left it behind and wear some other cloth so this way when you realize that you are beyond your body you are not limited to your body it makes you feel that whatever the accomplishment you have in terms of a human being in terms of formal education in terms of materialistic pleasure in terms of you know materialistic acquisitions and possessions all things become you know irrelevant for you uh, you 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 no longer you know uh, yearn for such pleasure which are limited and you know uh, comes and goes in our life but 
instead of that you would start enjoying your natural strength the godliness within you so when you realize your spirituality your real uh, form of being you no longer you know become frustrated or depressed about the worldly desires because whatever the problems we have in terms of mental problems or physical problems ultimately it has roots in our desires or ambitions because ambitions are the root cause of each and every problem we face in our life otherwise there is enough to feed our requirement so the basic requirement of human being is the food then comes the cloth and then comes the house home right so the most basic requirement of any living being is the food and it is already there enough for each and every one of us including each and every animal and insects but what happens is we are not satisfied with that only with the help of our intelligence and all these things and with the help of formal education we acquire certain degrees and qualifications and with uh, that qualification we want that uh, i want to on this much i want to on this much if i on this much then i am a successful person if i not able to on this much then i am a failure so this way we keep on creating our own parameter of success and failure and one day we just trap into it ourselves so here in the adhyatmic life in the spiritual life the life is completely in the form of intangible right because whatever the sat which is permanent forever is intangible and asat is tangible which takes shapes and then destroys so this is the process continuously happening all across the universe there are so many celestial bodies are taking shape and some are you know uh losing its existence or destroying itself right the same way when it comes to living beings there are so many living beings take birth on the face of earth and there are so many living beings die just left behind the dead body and take another birth so this is completely a different approach for life but it is also not alien to our life also because this is what actual acknowledgement actual realization of oneself and if you able to realize your very nature as a human being then you can solve so many problems the same thing happens when you start living a spiritual life it doesn't mean that you will have to leave behind the world you will have to you know leave the society and your family and all these things but it is an you know conscious realization that you are not this body you are beyond that now once you have such experience in life the whole thinking would be changed and it will change for the better because with the realization of one's reality and uh, one's own being things become irrelevant in terms of materialistic pleasure now if i talk about me i had the same problem in my past life i have given you know so much important to education then i acquired a degree in visual communication and then i also felt that since i have so and so qualification and it has such and such reputation i should be earning this much and then only i am a successful person now this sort of self made definition of success 
as well as happiness created a lot of problem in my life until i entered into spirituality after entering the spirituality i come to learn and realize that who am i am i this body or beyond this even i had you know experience out of body experience in my life also and with that i come to realization i come to conclusion that i am not limited to this body actually i have you know i don't wear this body like a cloth and this is not going to be permanent some day i will have to leave this body when it becomes old unsustainable so with this kind of thinking you know the whole life of mind has been transformed into a completely different life i am the person who was 24 by 7 you know craving for money because for me earning big money was the only success but when i realized that this is not the aim of my life on of my life i changed the track and with the help of spirituality i have realization of true pleasure also i come to understand that senses are for the help of human being to identify different things like for example eyes are helpful to see each and everything in front of us ears are to listen different voices and noises around us okay now the skin uh, is to feel hot or cold or different sensations the same way uh, the tongue is also you know uh, helpful in terms of you know identify the different taste so these are all the gyanendri okay we have available in our body the same way we have hands legs right such you know uh, karmendris yani means action senses now with the help of all these senses you know we live a life as a creature as a human being okay but without the real you within it whether you call it atma or jeev whatever this body cannot move this body cannot breathe, uh, breathe this body cannot you know speak this body cannot think so you are the master of this entire body and once you realize your real being the body will start functioning behaving the way you want so what i am telling you is that if you want to have real pleasure of life then spirituality is the best thing to happen in our life we will definitely will have to go beyond the physical existence of life and let me tell you also one thing very clearly that what i am talking about is it is about the principle of creation and absolute life and uh, when it comes to science i don't believe that it can prove anything in this regard because science is totally based on logic whereas when it comes to spiritual spirituality it is the matter of creativity it is the matter of creation and creation is always first then comes the logic each and every logic take place with the help of creation without any creation what logic you are going to apply what logic you are going to create so all the time 
the science requires logical conclusions of each and every event and each and every process and that cannot be possible in the spirituality because it is the matter of self realization it is not to show someone else that this is it you can explain help understand someone the theory the way the approach to be successful in spirituality and identifying real oneself but when it comes to the realization each and every individual has his own unique realization and that is the beauty of adhyatma the spirituality and when it comes to our culture particularly the hindu culture it is completely open for new experiment and there is no any restrictions in terms of you know culture or in terms of religion that we cannot think differently in our way because to make search to seek is the basic the first and foremost right of human being in our culture and it is always said that those who seek finds so the same thing will happen to you also if you want to you know embrace spirituality in your life it would be a very beautiful a very peaceful a very contentful decision for you initially people would create criticize you in so many ways but just don't bother about those criticism because once you arrive in your life as a spiritual as an enlightened soul the same people will follow you now it is completely up to you that what you want to do in your life do you want to be a limited to the bodily existence and do you want to keep the same identity with you for you and for others or you want to go beyond that because when you go beyond the body the real pleasure of life starts